So all of you wanted me to do a video about Christian Guzman and here it is, but honestly, fuck you all for making me watch his videos. Now I'm not hating on the guy, I think he's an alright dude who just needs some direction, but seriously, he is so fucking boring, I don't understand why anyone watches him. All of his videos are of him eating junk food, working out, and then trying to sell his t-shirts. Entertainment. But he does have dogs in some of his videos. Those are the best ones. Okay. Dog. So let's just start off with that normal thing I do where I talk about how bad someone's diet is and Christian Guzman eats like a 10 year old whose parents don't love him. Uh, hey dad, can you make me dinner? I'm working. There's cliff bars and a bag of potato chips in the cupboard. What? Oh come on, mom always makes me dinner. Oh really? Well then maybe you should go live with that soul stealing bitch. And I know I'm going to hear a lot of this from Christian Guzman's fans. Um, if Christian Guzman's diet is so bad, then why is he so lean all the time? And this might surprise the fucking shit out of some of you, but caloric restriction will cause weight loss regardless of how shitty your diet is, and Christian Guzman just restricts his calories all the time, which is why he's able to stay lean pretty much all year round, and the only way he seems to be able to sustain this is by taking caffeine all day, and without his pre-workout powders and monster energy drinks, I think he wouldn't be able to function. I wasn't feeling that great like an hour ago. I was feeling really low energy, kind of just like lethargic and stuff, but uh, feeling okay now, took a scoop of C4. I'm gonna sip on this monster. I haven't had any caffeine today, right. so that'll be our first, our first uh, drop of caffeine when we get to the gym. It'll be good. Looking forward to it. Do you get two scoops? Uh, no, like one heaping. I am excited. Feeling kind of tired, guys. Like I said, we haven't had, like, none of us have had any caffeine, so we're kind of, kind of, kind of low right now. Definitely got orange. Not the right one. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a white one now. It's a little bit under 200 milligrams of caffeine. It's gonna give me some energy in the morning and uh, help me focus and get some work done. So I'm gonna take one of these. One for me, one for Nick. We got some pre workout already mixed up. We're using some Oxy Shred, which is our fat burner. Magic blends. Magic blends. We're supposed to go to the gym now, but I'm feeling really exhausted and tired. We here at Gold's Gym, Venice Beach, the mecca of all gyms. The pre-workout kicked in, if you can't tell. And I think a lot of people think that I have monsters a lot more frequently than I actually do. Oh, I'm really hungry and I'm feeling kind of tired and I don't have much energy. Should I eat some bananas? No. Oh, I put some apples? No. And potatoes? No. Oh, dates? No. Oh, this looks good. Some coffee. And the problem with this is food gives us sustenance in the form of not only calories for energy, but also vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients, which Christian Guzman's diet is severely lacking in because he eats very little fruits and vegetables and lots of processed food, but he thinks taking a multivitamin supplement makes up for this. Don't you think it might make a little bit more sense to eat a healthy diet rather than take multivitamin supplements, especially since multivitamins have been shown to have no real health benefits and fruits and vegetables have been shown to increase our life expectancy, along with having some benefits for athletes like improving vasodilation, oxygen uptake by our lungs, and reducing exercise-induced oxidative stress. Oh no, I see what's going on here. Are you getting your diet advice from a retard and a cancer patient? Is that why you're more concerned with macros rather than eating healthy food? You should do one handful of each uh, raspberries and blueberries. And like I said, I'm gonna estimate these to be about 50 grams and I track the macros later on tonight. So 50 grams of raspberries, 50 grams of blueberries. Oh, I can only eat 50 grams of raspberries and blueberries cause macros. But these are good macros, and so are these, the retard and the cancer guy told me. So Christian's diet is overall terrible, and instead of focusing on eating healthy whole foods, he focuses on hitting some pretty much arbitrarily set macronutrient ratios, and I found it hilarious when he said this. As always, online coaching is on ChristianUsmail.com. You know, macro-based programs, science-based programs. Really? Science-based programs? Are you fucking kidding me? Three each, three and three. Now what I'm probably gonna do, guys, is because the fat was at 36 grams, uh, how they come, I'm gonna go ahead and take off, I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take off some of the cheese, and it's gonna bring down the fat and take um, probably by a few grams. So literally I'm just gonna 
some of this to the side, you know, just like that. There's really no need for all that cheese stuff. So is this part of your science-based nutrition strategy, taking some of the cheese off of chicken fajita tacos? I don't see any science there, but are you injecting science into your veins? Uh, your friend there looks like he injects some science. Here's the thing. You don't know how to eat a healthy diet. You aren't even aware that the foods you're eating are incredibly unproductive for weight loss. You eat tons of processed food, but you're still able to lose weight because you restrict calories so much. And the only way you still have enough energy to train is by taking caffeine all day, but you're still able to sell $120 nutrition programs to people because they're even more ignorant than you are. Uh, hey dad, uh, can I have $120? And in Christian Guzman's circle of friends, this is probably never talked about because a lot of his friends are selfish, greedy assholes who only care about themselves, but being kind to animals is a hell of a lot more important than hitting your macros. I've noticed that you really love and care for your dog, and haven't you ever wondered why you don't want to kill and eat it? Do you want to kill any of the animals you eat? Have you ever considered the impact your diet has on others? Dog. I know you've hung out with Dane and Rob Bailey who claim to be huge animal lovers despite supporting the suffering and death of animals with their food choices, but hopefully you're smart enough to realize that if you really do love animals, you shouldn't be eating meat, dairy, and eggs. If you wouldn't want this to happen to your or anyone else's dog, then why are you doing this to other animals? I've also seen quite a few videos on your channel now and I'm really disappointed that someone with your huge audience would decide to talk about such unimportant bullshit all the time like what new pairs of shoes you just bought. How about you step outside of yourself for once and stop being an ignorant selfish consumer and bring it to the attention of your viewers that the animal products industry is the most cruel, wasteful, and harmful industry on the planet. Did you know that those following a plant-based diet have the longest life expectancy by about 10 years? Did you know that animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change and according to a 2009 World Watch study is accountable for 51% of greenhouse gas emissions? Did you know that 80% of grains in the US are produced to feed livestock and we could feed 800 million more people by simply feeding those grains to people? Now that you know all of these things, what would it say about you as a person if you were to just completely ignore all of these facts and not tell your hundreds of thousands of viewers about these issues and to just keep talking about unimportant bullshit like your new shoes? Don't be a willfully ignorant selfish cunt who will just keep consuming animal products because you can't be bothered with thinking about anything other than bodybuilding, macros, and fashion. Grow as a person, do what's right, share important information with your huge fan base, and make some vegan gains. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. 